Hi guys, gonna have another go at a bargain store project. I bought a couple of these uh, a while back in my local bargain store for a pound each. Already used one on a project, uh, trying to make a hovercraft with it, and established that the motor inside is not very strong. So um, I'm gonna have another go but this time I'm just going to make a jet car. Right, that's the bit we want. i just plug it into that USB power supply. Actually, the air is travelling in that direction, so I'll need to mount it that way round and just see if it can generate enough power to move forwards. Right, so I'm carefully cutting my way down the side here and dropping the fan in just a bit at a time, just to see how far down I can get. Um, before the fan blades start touching the sides. Right, that's the fan inserted halfway inside the cup. And I've resealed the edges with a bit of um, polystyrene. So I now put a bit of a tube on the back and fit some wheels to it. Right, I need some strips of polystyrene or styrofoam, so I've just cut the bottom out of one of my dishes. So what I'm going to do is wrap that around something, a former of some sort, so I can make it into a tube to glue onto the back of my cup. Right, I've wrapped that bit of foam around the battery to give me some sort of former. Right, I just tried it with that on the end of the tube and it actually reduces the amount of air coming out or at least it spreads it over a wider area so you get less of a jet. So what I'm now thinking of doing is I might actually crush that right down to try and make more of a jet coming out. Right, there we are. That's squeezed it down. Now the plan is to put a couple of drinking straws across there and across there. That will be the tubes for the axles to go in. And then um, put some wheels on them and see if it will move. I need some wheels so I'm going to cut some out of this polystyrene dish plate. There we go. That's four very thin, very lightweight wheels. I think I'll need to put, I think, an extra disc. I'll cut out with the small bits that are left, just to thicken it up a bit in the middle to make it a tiny bit stronger. I shall hot glue that disc to that disc to make it a little bit stronger. If I poke that through there first. That will help me line it up when I bring it together. So a bit of hot glue on there. Through the hole. Okay, next thing I'm going to do plastic packaging. I'm going to hot glue that straight on the top and then push a hole through again and that will give me a bit of a bearing surface for the 
um, axle tube to rub against. Interestingly, this plastic is heat sensitive, so it's crawling, <laughs> closing up as I'm trying to glue it. I'm sure there must be some practical purpose to that. But that's done what I wanted it to do. That's given us a bit of a, a harder surface for the axle tube to rub against. Just make it big enough for the drinking straw to go in. Still not quite big enough. Okay, and if I glue it on the outside, and try and get it to line up reasonably straight. Well, that was a bit easier that time. I put the hot glue on the polystyrene first and then pushed my bit of clear plastic on top so it didn't have time to curl up and melt. So the axle's free. Nice generous bit of hot glue on the outside. Right. Well, it looks interesting. But unfortunately it just doesn't work again. If I set it going, you will notice there's a definite lack of mu movement. Right then, well, come to the same conclusion as last time I tried to use one of those fans. It just doesn't have the power to do anything useful other than gently blow air over the notebook to cool it down. Um, I've played around with this a bit now. It, there's no function, but uh, I've just made it look interesting. And if I actually uh, connect the wires together, it looks quite pretty as well. But as you can see, it's not moving. <laughs> it does nothing. Um, it does act a bit as a vacuum cleaner, but um, apart from that, a complete failure. Which is a shame, as I say, that looks quite pretty. But it doesn't do anything under its own power. I have to give it a push if I want it to move. What I might do, just to make use of what I've made there, is I might cut it open and stick that hairdryer fan in it, just to see if that will make it go along. Right, there we are. I've salvaged my um, hairdryer fan and just chopped this car in half and stuck the hairdryer fan in the middle. Instead of that little thing. That thing just didn't have enough power. Hair dryer fan will though. So we'd better go downstairs.
and do a test run in the kitchen. OK, we'll give this fella a test run. <laughs> bit noisy isn't it? OK, so time for a summary. What have we got? We've got some polystyrene or styrofoam cups from my bargain store. Uh, the wheels are made from styrofoam plates. Uh, we got straws for axles. In fact, on this I've actually changed the front axle to a wooden skewer, uh, simply because the straw melted when I was putting more hot glue on it. Um, we got two 9 volt batteries powering a hair dryer fan. Um, I tried to use that fan out of the USB notebook cooler and there just wasn't enough power. It wouldn't move. It looked pretty because it was a nice blue LED on it but it didn't move. So because I don't like to lose or fail I've taken my hovercraft apart and used the fan in this. A fan jet car made from polystyrene cups and a hairdryer.